In this video, I'm going to resize a 308 case into a 6.5 Creedmoor case. Uh, I, I haven't seen any videos on YouTube uh, describing how to do this, but so I thought I'd just make my own. Um, it, it has to be lubed pretty well when you resize it. I'm going to use a 6.5 Creedmoor Lee die, full size die, and then I'm going to uh, uh, trim it to length, the correct length for a 6.5 Creedmoor out of a 308 case. You can do it with um, some the military uh, version of 308, uh, but uh, I'm just going to do 308 cases today. I'm going to do uh, 10 of them. And so, uh, first thing I'm going to do is lube them. I'm going to use a uh, full synthetic oil for this process because if these cases get stuck in the die, it's pretty rather difficult to get out. But okay, this is the first case. Stick it into. Oh, by the way, I'm using a, a Lee uh, plastic die. It's a it's, it's a cast steel die with a Hornady uh, adapter in it, so I can uh, change these dies out. You'll need a heavy duty, uh, something like this to do this with. You can't just use a progressive machine. Well, there's one. Now I'll wipe this off and we'll, uh, well, I'll do a few more. This is this is my Lyman case length headspace gauge. Just to get in there. See how long it is. We have to trim them after we're done. A little bit more. I do have a 6.5 Creedmoor rifle that I will use these for. Uh, it's more of a, a precision rifle, so I usually load all these by hand. more
And if you're really into precision hardcore, you probably buy uh, new cases. But mine is just for fun. Well, that's how you do it. I didn't use enough lube on some of these cases, so they kind of crunched a little bit, so you really have to be careful. And make sure you use plenty of lube, but not too much where it hydro locks. Now I'm going to use a Lee 6.5 Creedmoor Quick Trim Die in this Lee Press with a Hornady uh, uh, lock and load converter on it. Then I got a quick trim handle here and a, and a goes in like that. So what I'm going to do is put one in like this. more. Almost there. Now you have a case, a 6.5 Creedmoor case out of a, a 308 case. A little extra work to do this, but if you run short of 6.5 Creedmoor cases and you can't get any in these times, this is the way to do it. They do have machines that are powered that you can use. Even Lee sells one like this that only attaches to a drill. But this is what I have at the moment. So I don't use, and I don't make this many cases of this anyway. Not just for hand loading, I don't use that many. A little bit more and we're done. There. There we go. Now they're ready to be reloaded for 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, other people probably do it different with different tools, but basically this is how you do it. Um, thank you for watching. And if you uh, subscribe and if you uh, have any other interests or questions, you give me a, ask me a question. I'll, Try to answer if I can.